Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Just wanted to give you guys all just a little peaceful moment. It's Tiger Lake here at Big Cat. I know that there's a lot of stress and anxiety and hatred and <laughs> things going on in the world. So I thought you guys would all like a little moment with a pretty view and the sound of water. And I have a sleeping tiger behind me. So I'm going to show you guys Simba here in just a second. I know it can really be a lot when all you see is negativity and hate and arguing and stress and anxiety. So everyone's dealing with it. So we have Simba Tiger back here. Just taking a moment to nap after breakfast. This won't be a very long live, um, but I just wanted to say hi to everyone. Yesterday was very busy. <laughs> Hi, are you ready to say hi to everyone? So I just thought I'd give you guys all a little escape from reality. You looked very cozy, I didn't mean to wake you up. Simba's a good example of somebody who's been through a whole lot of stress in their lifetime. So it's nice to see him so relaxed. Thank you to everybody who's sharing this. Doesn't he have really cool little like speckle spots on his shoulders and in between some of his stripes? It's really, really neat. Good morning, Deb. Hi, Luana. Hi, Natalie and Noor. I wonder if we'll get a swim. Yep, we're gonna get a, at least a drink of water. I don't know if he'll swim. We would love to let him free, but that's not how it works. There's never gonna be cages big enough for these animals. Hey, Sarah C. These animals do deserve to be free. They shouldn't be born and raised in cages and kept for people's entertainment, but sadly, that's what keeps happening. Till we end the breeding and the private ownership of these cats, there has to be sanctuaries like us to help give them a peaceful rest of their life because once they're done being used as cub petting schemes and photo props, what, what are you gonna do with them? They either become pets, props, or parts, and it's terrible. So go to bigcatact.com. If you feel helpless with how crazy the world is right now, something you can do is go make the call of the wild, help end the abuse and the private ownership of these cats. Glad he decided to pee way over there. <laughs> we do not believe that these cats should be in cages. We've been fighting for years to see an end to it, but we need your help. You need to contact your legislators. Simba here was rescued from a circus with two other tigers that came here and many other animals that went to sanctuary in South Africa with ADI. I wanna show you guys this. Look at Simba's tree. This is from scratching his tree to mark his territory. That is something that they would do in the wild. Yes, Kelly, parts. 
it's a big industry to sell a tiger, kill them off and sell their bones and their skins and tiger wine and all of that horrible black market industry. They're sold to be breeders so that they can continue to make more so that people can keep getting their photos with them. It's disgusting. Hi, sir. Yes, you're right. They are still in cages, but what do you think we should do with them? You can't raise a cat from birth, feed them, get them habituated to people, need to rely on people, and then think you're ever going to set them free. Hi. Yes. Thank you very much for the three donations. I really appreciate that. Ooh. <laughs> he always scares me. They mark their territory by scratching trees, peeing on everything, chewing on things, rubbing all over things. And these cats are huge and they're very destructive. So there's a whole ugly world out there. We all know it for both people and animals. If you guys want to help animals, you can definitely help us end the private ownership and the cub petting and breeding industry and never go to circuses or performances that use live animals. You can't just release these cats back into the wild. It's not legal. They're not native here. You can't breed a bunch of cats in the U.S. and then just ship them <laughs> overseas and think you can set them free. So the ignorance has to stop here. We have to stop breeding them in the U.S roadside zoos and pseudo sanctuaries. Never ever support a place that buys them, sells them, trades them, breeds them, touches them, allows you to, you know, pose with them for pictures or they take them out, you know, to malls and to birthday parties and all of that is just sheer ignorance. These poor animals suffer because people want to use them. People think they look cool when they take that selfie with these cats, and it's ridiculous. In captivity, these guys can live into their 20s, so it's a very long time to have to live in a cage. And we don't believe that they should, so I want to show you his tree one more time. Every time I come by, it's more and more impressive. <laughs> it's just amazing. Look at that. I think some of these lower ones might actually be from teeth. The tall ones are definitely him scratching. Nope, oh, and peeing. <laughs> Thank you guys for explaining some of the breeding issues too. I mean, that's the whole other thing is these cats have been so inbred and there's no true bloodlines in most of those backyard zoos, so None of these cats would ever be something that could be released into the wild. Again, they're not native here. You can't, can't breed them here and then just think you're going to put them on a plane, send them home, and set them free, and that they're going to know what to do. Yes, that was Nikita roaring in the background, but I've also heard Max Tiger calling today, which is really unique. I've heard him before, but he doesn't do it very often, so... He was doing it this morning, though. Here's another lake view. So like I said, this isn't going to be a real long live, but I figure if we had a zen moment with a tiger, of course, he got up almost immediately. Let's go try to smile and laugh with smalls. And that's probably all we're going to see today. Sorry for all my tangents. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on Instagram this morning fighting for our reputation yet again. It's a never-ending battle. We can't seem to do anything right. <laughs> We're always going to upset or offend somebody. So when really our intentions are always good, we're here for the animals. I'm affected very deeply by everything that's going on in the world right now. But we're all just trying to do what's right. So let's go check on this girl. She was running all over the place on Monday night. Oh, I have a biscuit running. Hey, Bisco. You chasing? 
he's a Jason. <laughs> he's a Jason. Let me come see if I had anything fun on my cart. All right, let's go say hi to Smalls real quick. If you guys are brand new to us, again, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We are a GFAS accredited sanctuary. We rescue cats from abandoned and abused situations. We don't buy them, sell them, trade them, breed them, or touch them, but we do care for them for the rest of their lives. We have a state-of-the-art medical uh, hospital situated right here on our property. We have vets that monitor every little thing about these cats. Where's my small girl? Lady! So Smalls is a bobcat. She just moved into this enclosure a few days ago. I guess it's almost been a week now. Time flies. Hey, where's my little girl? I've seen her get on top of this platform now. I've seen her on top of all of those different dens. Where's little lady? She's like, I'm already napping because I had breakfast. That's what I do. Smalls. Where's the little girl? I'm gonna laugh if she's like out on top of something. Small girl. No, maybe she's just not interested today. We can go over to Biscuit for sure. He was clearly interested. Yep. I did kind of want to see if I was seeing any claw marks on her tree yet. Nope. Hmm, okay. That's all right. Of course, the last time she didn't come when I called her, she had been hiding a squirrel in her den, which was ridiculous. All right, little girl. Maybe it's because there's a cleaner over here. Nope, okay. We've seen her up on top of that platform and on the middle. She hangs out in the middle a lot. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna go see a biscuit then. I think a lot of you guys maybe heard that we uh, changed around the uh, volunteer program quite a bit and so now all small cats are cleaned by yellow shirt keepers which is new it used to be red so all the levels have changed now well here's a flint here's a flint hi flint will just show you the same end that smalls would have shown us anyway this is his new thing What are you doing? Are you purring? Are you purring? Yes. You've really learned how to flicker that tail. I know. When are you going to grow into those legs? It's got stilts. Stilts for legs. Don't you, babe? Give me a chat. Stilts for legs. <laughs> Stilts for legs. Well, he's going to follow Jamie because she has a food container and she's walking behind me. No, it's like when's he gonna grow into the legs and his tail because they're both they're all so long you got to fill out of course Florida Bobcats are not floofy the way that like Nabisco and Smalls are what are we looking at 
He's very alert. Where did our biscuit go? Nope. Everybody's hiding now that we're over here. <laughs> he was just out chasing us and now he's gone. Oh boy. Oh, there you are. Biscuit. Nabisco. I don't think he hears very well. He has to see ya. Oh, he's gonna drink some water. Go back around the corner. Nabisco's always been a little special. A little special guy. Hi. So this is his water. The reason that we raise our water bowls and kind of have them off to the side like this is if for one, the safety of the keeper's hands. And then two, because cats actually pee in water naturally in the wild so that predators can't track them. And we don't want them peeing in their fresh water all the time. We want them to have fresh water. So we just lift it off the ground and then they're way less likely to pee in it. All right, well, that's all we're gonna get from him. All right, we'll walk back over here to Flint and I think we're gonna call it a day so I can get ready for the staff meeting. All right, Flintster, you're the last one. It's a very narrow area here, so we have this extra layer of small wire so he can't reach out and grab you when you walk through. Hi, come here. Come here, mister. Oh, Mr. Rubbins. Do you want to flop for everybody? Well, thank you guys for joining me on my tangent this morning. Sometimes I have to let that out. <laughs> I appreciate everybody who uh, shares and answers questions in these live feeds and over on Instagram and on Facebook. You guys are priceless. We are all fighting the good fight. That is for sure. We don't want animals in cages. Big Cat Rescue would like to put ourselves out of business because if we don't have to rescue abandoned, abused, and overbred animals, then we wouldn't need to be here. Now we're getting our flint flop in lots of purrins. Look at that belly. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much to the six people that donated. 100% of your donations goes to the care of the cats here. So we really, really appreciate that. Hopefully I'll be able to do a longer live tomorrow, but I was looking at our forecast and starting in just a couple of hours all the way through tomorrow morning, it looks like we pretty much have 100% rain chances. So I don't know, but if you can't get enough of the cats and you miss them, you can always watch the live cameras at bigcatcams.com. Nikita's roaring again. Of course. A fern right in front of your cute face. Right in front of your cute face. All right, we'll end on this Zen moment. So I hope everybody stays happy and healthy and safe. Make sure you do good, healthy things for yourself. Don't be on social media for too long. <laughs> Take breaks. If it's just kind of drizzle raining tomorrow, I'll at least do like a drive around maybe, but I won't be able to get off the cart, so we won't be getting that close, but 
we'll see. We need the rain. So I noticed Priya and Duchess Tiger Lake areas, the water level is pretty low. So could use the rain. All right. Take care, everybody.